people often believe that free market is some kind of natural order that you shouldn't meddle with. Uh, so when the government tries to regulate the uh, existing market, they say, oh, this is bad because you, know, you are interfering with the natural order of things. But when you actually think about it, all markets, however free they may look, uh, have some restrictions and some rules uh, underneath. Yeah? So the, you know, in the book, I use this example of child labor in the 19th century when child labor was very widespread. When some people proposed uh, to regulate it, a lot of free market uh, people were against it on the ground that this undermines the very foundation of a free market economy, you know, that is the freedom of contract. So they argued, you know, these children want to work and these people want to employ them. What is your problem? It's a voluntary contract. It's not like uh, these people kidnap these children and force them into slave labor. These children actually want to work. So the, on that basis, uh, this uh, policy was a uh, uh, policy of regulating child labor was considered totally unacceptable. But today, even the most uh, strong advocate of uh, free market do not argue that we need to bring back child labor in order to make uh, our labor markets uh, more free because they have now come to accept that children have the right to have a childhood and have education. So the, the free market economists uh, like to kind of, uh, argue that uh, free market is a natural order and there should be no government intervention, but everywhere actually is government intervention. You don't think it's a government intervention only because you accept the moral and political values underlying those regulations that you don't uh, see them. It's not as if uh, that there can be any market that has no rules. Eh?